Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick little comparison here and uh, it is going to be between the uh, the Huawei Honor 6 and the Xiaomi Mi4. Uh, so first of all, both these two smartphones here are very, very similar. Uh, both cost uh, 369 bucks on Apple Mart. And um, one of the things that you will note immediately here is uh, the better quality here that you're getting on the Xiaomi Mi 4 device with like a metal side or aluminum, uh, like a glass, glossy, nice glass back, which is quite nice. You can also have, see three capacitive touch buttons down there. Uh, in, in this one, you see a pretty cool thing here where they automatically change uh, the lock screen picture. I find that very, very cool. Uh, but this one feels way more plasticky, uh, but it has the buttons built in here uh, But then you get a little bit less screen here uh, The um, Huawei or the Xiaomi smartphone is a little bit thicker uh, Which could be something that you don't want but the um, Let's see here the uh, The Honor 6 smartphone here definitely feels so, so plasticky, as I said. It has some pretty cool um, software though, as you can see here, uh, kind of like iPhone uh, control center. Uh, this one has a, round, a little bit more rounded design as well. Uh, you can see here we have the MIUI ROM and you can see quick toggles here and uh, that we have on both devices, but we have a little bit of a white uh, background here, more on the Honor 6. Uh, 1080p display on both, 5 inch, 1632 GB variant is uh, the um, Honor 6 available in. And also the Honor 6 here, one of the key things here is that it's dual SIM smartphone, so you can insert two SIM cards, which is uh, pretty, pretty nice, I have to say. Now it's gonna be a hard time to focus here because I have another phone in the background. But it feels a little bit flimsy, this one. Uh, the display also looks like it's way better here uh, on the uh, on the Mi4 device, Mi4 device. Uh, both have a 30 megapixel camera as well, which uh, might be awesome, or it is awesome. But you can see here, same kind of speed, like when you take pictures and such. It seems. Sweet. Uh, another little thing here, so you actually get the 8 megapixel front-facing camera here uh, on uh, the Mi 4 device versus only, uh, or it's not only actually, it's, it's pretty decent actually, 5 megapixel front-facing. Usually on many high-end phones at the moment you do only get um, uh, 2 megapixel front-facing. But you can see here, 2 SIM card options there, and you can also see a little notification there, please insert two, 2 different cards. Uh, and so some other things here include, here in, we have chipset high silicon Karin 920 in octa-core setup, which means that it's eight different cores uh, versus this one, which is quad-core to what five gigahertz. I'm not really sure which one's better in a benchmark score, but I might do a testing, but both performs very, very nice. Um, both, uh, or this one has the Mali T628 MP6 GPU, uh, which performs very, very good overall, of course, in games, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and then we do have the Adreno 330 GPU inside of the Mi 4, which is also one of the high-end GPUs at the moment. Uh, battery life is also very, very similar here with um, 3080 milliamps inside of this one and 3100 milliamps inside of this one. You're probably not gonna notice a big difference there. But I think it's a little bit more clean sometimes where you don't have these on-screen keys because it looks a little bit ugly. Here, you take, this one definitely takes advantage of the full display because it has these buttons uh, at the outside. If you want to multitask here, you can see how it looks. You know, very, very different here. This one looks a little bit more basic or kind of like standard to what you usually do see in Android um, versus the Mi 4 device, which looks a little bit updated. But you can close all apps there with one tap, which is also uh, quite nice. So yeah, just a quick little comparison. I definitely think that this one is a winner overall. Uh, but I mean, that dual SIM function definitely could be something that you uh, 
uh, might enjoy. And if you don't like glass back, then this one is not going to be something for you either. Um, this one feels so much lighter and uh, a little bit more like a toy, but uh, I can see why some people would prefer this one. And also has some pretty cool thing here that changes. But yeah, just a quick little comparison here. I might do some gaming comparisons stuff like that with specific games, uh, if some of you want to see that. But um, yeah, have a great day.